what's going on to all of my uh Tories. So please make sure to get the book at Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com. The links will be in the description box below as usual. Step out, out of the shower. Eyes still red from the water. <sighs> All right, so let's get into it. So um, the cards that I come up with for the Torians shuffle up these cards. All right, so the cards that I come up with for the Taurus are the Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the World, whew, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Knight, uh, Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, and last but not least, we have the Temperance. So, um, a lot of earthly energy, of course. Um... Some of you Torians have the bright idea, a very good idea to move forward. Um, you may have some sort of misconceptions about certain things about yourselves, about a relationship that you once thought of in the past, or you once were a part of, I should say, in the past, that you're not a part of anymore. And some of you will get over the delusion of that, right? Thinking that this way in a relationship was actually this way when it wasn't. And some of you Torians may be a little bit still caught up in the problems with that, of thinking that, well, maybe this person, you know, didn't necessarily mean what it is that they said. Um, regardless of whether or not this person is making a joke, regardless of whether or not this person was meant what it is that they said either way it goes they still said it you know what i mean uh you know like uh you know so in that sense right i have an example but i'm not even gonna say it. but it but in that sense it's like ah eh, the mere fact that you would say it right puts them in a duplicitous place because now it's they send enough mixed signals. Where are they exactly going with this? You understand what I'm saying? And then you have the world card. Now, the world represents you standing in the north. It represents manifestation. It represents, you know, you actually getting the things that you want. But like I said before, there has to be a, a price. And the price is that you're going to have to kind of let go of the, the delusion, right? You're going to have to learn to let go of... Um, uh, the false perception that you had about this person or the or these people that you once had in the relationship and now start venturing off into what you could potentially have in the future because that's more important the six of pentacles and the knight of wands represents how this is a situation for y'all where what this is saying is again you can have a lot of gains. You can have massive gains. You have the the, uh, the world card for a reason, right? The world, the world can be yours. But the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands represents, but first things first, you have to learn to get over a couple of things. And some of the things that, you, that you're going to have to learn to get over, which will be reflective of the past that happened to you is people who end up, people who end up being jerks. The Knight of, the Knight of Wands. This is a person... These, is, these are people whom, even as you're starting to hang out with other people again, date, all that stuff, these are people who are going to try to, um, who are jerks, who are going to try to, you know, slowly boil you, cook you, stuff like this, get on your nerves, things of this nature. Um, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to actually go ahead and drop a, a video, a link in the comment section and i want pretty much everyone who watches this video to see it because it explains what it is that i mean when i say a lot of times people be bsing and they be playing these games when in actuality the reaction seeking and stuff like this is actually an extension of like i said before mental health and lack thereof right it's a cry for help so the thing is that the uh, Nine of Pentacles, right? The Nine of Pentacles now represents how, um, but this person is gonna make it seem as if they're so much better than you though. But regardless of whatever it is that they show you, Taurus, or these people in the future, these people are not the people who you're supposed to be hanging out with. These are not the people whom you're, you're supposed to be 
kicking it with because ultimately those are the people who in essence all they do is just go in on you and just try to uh, disrespect you like i said and slowly slowly boil you and get you upset about certain things so that you can have this blow up so they could say hi i knew I, I keep telling you it's dumb it's quite dumb and the thing is that the king of cups and the ace of wands these those uh cards both represent how what you should be doing is you should be uh not worrying about other people okay not worrying about them specifically or anybody who shares that that archetype that that uh that stereotype of person right person who's just trying to get on your nerves because they're dumb and you should be only uh interested in what you've got going on and you should have your own agenda so when you're dating out here, don't forget that some people are going to be off their rocker a little bit and they're going to look to try to troll because they because they goofy and they think trolling is funny. The nine of swords and the temperance represents you could either end up one or two ways. You can either end up thinking about it a little bit too much, right, to the point where it stresses you out, or you can move forward with this situation and don't even worry about that. I choose temperance to move forward and don't even worry about them. People goofy anyway. So let's clarify the temperance. So you have the uh, Brigitte, the Erzuli La Flambeau, and then you have the Simbi La Flambeau. So let me show it to you again. These cards represent how this is a situation where a lot of you are in a situation, right, where uh, the, to clarify the temperance, right, because I'm trying to clarify the temperance. This is about how, again, you make it, right? So ultimately, you are the control of what goes on with you, right? Period. End of story. And it's up to you, right? The uh, Urzuli La Flambeau represents you could choose to, to like, you could choose ultimately, you know what I'm saying, to... Um, fight against this person, right? Go back and forth, or you can essentially choose to burn it down, right? And what I mean when I say burn it down is destroy the connection that you have with these people, right? Like destroy it, right? Destroy the connection, start from scratch, stop hanging out with them, right? You know, fire, like I said before, fire is an element of purification and deletion. It's an element of destruction. So it represents getting rid of the things that are not getting rid of the things, deleting them, right? Destroying them, right? Like, cre you know, like clearing up space. You understand what I'm saying? Because with water, water floods, right? Air can, can essentially rip apart and blow away, but it doesn't disintegrate it to where there's less space. You understand what I'm saying? Fire does that. So clearing that level of space for you in which you can actually spread your wings and fly. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace.